talk about my feelings on the end of time, part one and two. I personally don't like the cliffhanger at the end of part one, and I wish they would have aired part two pretty soon. I didn't have to wait a week. But, hang on. But other than that, I loved part one. I loved the build up, the suspense. What? I did. Part one sucked! No, it did. And I did. Yes, it did! Part one was pretty ugly. Okay. Part like, one sucked. But it was good at, at suspense and building up in the cliffhanger is really. pretty good. Yeah, it was. Not really. It left you with a lot of questions. Book of Saxon? WTF! Book of Saxon! There is no Book of Saxon! Where the crap did Davies come up with half of this? I have no idea. That's an utter hatred for Russell T. Well, I'm not an utter hatred. He, he, did, he did good bringing Doctor Who back, but he made it a little too kissy, kissy, goo, goo. Oh my God, I'm trying I to have this really good. to admit, the bringing back of the Master, how they brought him back, was a little Voldemort-ish. Oh, the whole, like, bringing him back. Yeah. thing. Yeah, but, and the anti- Potion. That, I automatically went, oh my god, I want to stop watching this. I know. It was like, I honestly thought I wasn't watching Doctor Who. I was like, I have to be watching some cheesy spoof of Doctor Who now, at the beginning. I will admit, I do, you know, how they did the master all, like, even crazier than before with the hunger thing and the drums. That was pretty, now that was pretty good development, sure. but... He had a freaking collar on. The master had a collar. The, oh, the irony! <laughs> and I get to make the joke of, lol, the master's a furry. Because he had a collar on. And a leash, eventually. He had a leash attached to his collar, which was very, very hot. But moving on to part two, Sorry. I nearly crapped my pants when the Time Lords were back. And when they... That pissed me off. When they brought Gallifrey to Earth... And like nearly collided with her. I almost like literally pooped my pants. So I was like, "There's no way. There's no way. What? There's no way." I cried. How come is it every time you see an old man crying, crying, you have to cry? Every time Wilfred cried, I cry. I know. I teared up. Wilf should never cry because. I mean, it's like you know, it's like you know, you don't see older people crying, especially I know. an old man named Wilf who was a soldier. Why does my phone keep on turning off? I'm really starting to get mad. Wilf adores me. And I'm glad, you know what, I'm actually glad that Wolf is the reason he regenerates and not an enemy. Oh my god, I, no, I, was, I wanted the Master to be the one to kill the Doctor. I did, because I was like, oh my god, he will knock four times, and then when he knocked on the drum four times, I was like, <gasps> the Master's going to kill the Doctor. Nope, it's Wolf, because he's stuck inside the radiation thing. And I love how the Doctor goes, you had to get yourself stuck in there, didn't you? He actually uh, says you had to get yourself stuck in there. Yeah. Which uh, was so freaking funny. Wilf was... He's so cute, Wilf. He would have made an amazing companion. Look at my apartment complex. I just... Uh, sorry, I have to show it. Look, it's like walking in a winter wonderland. Part two ended. So I liked him going back and visiting everybody and whatnot. And... I think Matt Smith is going to do great. Oh my god, Matt Smith is going to be the best doctor in the freaking world. I love Tennant. I love him to death. But Matt Smith reminds me so much of Pertwee. And he's going to be awesome because he's actually going to be hands-on actually trying to kill enemies. I mean, in the preview for season... For series five, he actually runs up and hits someone. And then he looks and I'm like, oh my god, I hit him! And he actually has a gun that he fires. I think it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. I cannot wait until spring, not only because it will be warm, but also because of Matt freaking Smith playing the Doctor. I've seen him in his uh, in other movies, too, and he's amazing. And also, I can't wait until I get cable so that I would be able to watch this, because otherwise, YouTube, you're going to help me watch the new season of Doctor Who. That's how I watched it in time for it, too. But anyway, that's all we have for you. I've got to get inside. Martha the and Mickey got married! Oh, my God, Martha and Mickey got married! That made me so happy. Me and Christina will but do I it. I did not another. see that coming. I was like, oh, my God, that's Mickey? Why wouldn't he get hot? Christina and I will do another Doctor Who talk soon. We need to. It's overdue. We need to. Yeah, next time, I think we're going to talk about the old series, though. 
I'm yes. slowly educating Kyle on it and have it on a kick. So. But all right. Bye. Bye. Say bye.